Hey y'all, I'm trying to give y'all an update on my experience. I've been juicing since about 8. Um, right now I'm drinking my juice again. A Kaya Berry, a Kaya Berry, Kaya Berry, whatever. A Saya Berry, whatever it is. Um, some, it's called, um, something metabolism. I told y'all on the last video, I was going to come back and tell y'all. But I'm going to have to go in the kitchen and figure it out later for y'all. But right now, I'm going to let y'all know my experience. It's kind of a little hard because I'm at home right now. I don't go back to work till tomorrow. So it's like, do I want to do a full fast or a morning to lunch fast or nighttime juicing fast? I don't know. Or whole day fast. I'm trying to figure out because it's kind of hard. I'm making food for my children right now. And like, they got some sweet potato fries, right? So, and last night I cooked the ham and like honey um, glazed ham. So, it's like, okay, like really like you want to choose to go on a juice fast now after you got all this wonderful food around you. It's kind of hard. But at the same time, I'm a little mad because I didn't gain like four freaking pounds, okay? Four or five pounds. So, now it's like, do I really want my life? Do I really want to live? Do I really... I have three boys and I'm married. So, it's like, which one do you want? Because my oldest is three. He'll be four um, in September. And my my second oldest will be two in October. And then my third, my chunky monkey, my new baby, will be one in December. So, it's like... What do you want to do? Because I have boys and they're very energetic. Like, he's just three months and he's like 18 pounds. Okay? So, I'm like, and he's already like to play, wake up, and play. He's been like this since he's been born. So, it's like, okay, I need to lose weight. I have to be healthy for my family. I've never been overweighted a day in my life. Um, I had my first child. And... Um, my weight gain had nothing to do with my children. People might think that, but they don't know my story. So I'm just going to tell you my story real quick. Um, I was pregnant when 100, probably when I got pregnant, I was like 145, wearing a size 11. Um, was it? No, it was like 160, wearing size 11. Get pregnant. Like, I gained a little weight that summer. I don't know. I got married that summer. I was 17 going on 18, got married. Um, and then, like, I went down to visit my husband because he still was in school. And I was in school, high school, and he was in college trying to finish up. So, we're only a few years difference apart. So, um, I went and um, down there to visit in December because... You know, missing me. He didn't see me since that October. We tried to get pregnant then. Like, I wanted him to get pregnant so bad. Didn't work. This time, we didn't want to get pregnant. I was finishing school. He was about to graduate that year. Boom. I'm eating like crazy. Corn dogs, burritos. Like, the two weeks, I'm there. And we didn't know what the freak was wrong. Like, why do I have a freaking appetite just to eat? That's not normal. So, me and my mom on our way back on the airplane. Um, trying to get me back to school. Um, and oh my God. Like I went to Taco Bell. I never got there before ever in my life. I ate it. It was crazy. It was like okay. So mom was like she could tell I was pregnant. She knew because I was eating more than ever in my life. So um, get back home. Um, I take a test from Dollar Tree. My sister-in-law got it. And um, it was positive instantly. That Dollar Tree tested positive instantly so i called him and told him we was uh like uh we didn't want to get pregnant now because i was gonna go back to school right after i graduated i only had like a few months so then we cut that little part short um got pregnant um five months into that i uh got sick five months pregnant about to go back home with my husband and um Find out, oh, uh, they, like, they like go to the last doctor's appointment before I transfer anything up. So I did it. And I go and they say, hey, um, something is wrong. Like, I was sick. I was bending over. I'm five months pregnant. Come on. Think about that. 
And it takes a man. I was sick like dead, dog sick, like for real. Like I couldn't drink water. I couldn't eat food. And let me tell you what triggered it off. I ate chicken nuggets from McDonald's. That triggered it off. And then the next day I had Chinese food. Then nothing happened. I was fine. But then I ate nuggets again and it triggered it again. So then I had to stay that whole time to live with this baby and come to find out I have gallbladder issues. I'm in the hospital for three weeks until they find out what's wrong with me. They have to go in there and do surgery, go through my throat, and put a stent inside of me. Right? So my um so me and my baby can get the nutrients we need because I couldn't drink water. They was giving me um I think it was morphine every day in the shot because I was in so much pain like my back I even I think I had a little seizure because I could not freaking eat my tongue was like out of my mouth I remember that like I was so dehydrated my eyes were rolling behind my head my mama got scared and started crying and told me please wake up and I started praying and I told God I said I I want you to forgive me for my sins and I asked my mom to forgive me for everything I did negative to her and that I was leaving and I knew I was leaving and God told me in my ear he said you're not leaving yet he said I'm going to heal you but on my own time and so he used man to heal me so I got healed and because the doctors was telling my mama hey it's either her or the baby so God made it away so it can be both of us so yeah um, now we're here. He's three years old and he's a mess. He don't know the story, but I'll tell him later. But yeah, I had gallbladder problems and I had to have the problems before I got pregnant. Because you got to think about this. It said I had stones, gallstones in them. One the size of a golf ball. I mean, not a golf ball, a baseball. And it was blocking my passage. My, um, not passage. The, um, shoot. What is it called? The, um, my vent. <sighs> Shoot, I don't forget what it's called. It was blocking something to where you know how we digest. It helps you digest your bad food, the, the food, your um bowel movements. And I was wondering why I kept getting like bladder infections with my other two babies. I didn't have nobody's bladder infection at all. And come to find out, it was the gallbladder. That's the reason why I was having bladder infections because you know I couldn't pass no bowels or anything. So it was giving me bladder infections. So then after that, I got healed and everything, and then. A month later, I had surgery and um, still haven't moved my husband yet. I didn't leave until December because I had surgery in October and I had to re um, get checked up and um, they had to take the stent out because they had to clear out some more stuff. Um, and after that, um, I was ready free to go home and I said, Can I eat cheeseburgers and stuff? She was like, Yeah, but make sure you eat a salad so it'll digest. I move up here, my husband is a southern guy, so he wants ribs, chicken, fried chicken, um, pork fried pork chops, macaroni cheese, homemade, um, greens, um, cornbread, um, mashed potatoes, gravy, all that stuff I was not eating when I stayed with my mom. See, I had cheeseburger every now and then. It wasn't like a, um... <clears throat> Oh, I go to McDonald's every day. It was like every time I went to the grocery store. And we didn't go to the grocery store until probably like twice a month. Because it was just me and her. And left in the home. And um, I barely got ice. Sandwiches and chips. Um, when she cooked, it probably was a Sunday. And that was it. But um, well, I need to do my hair. But um, I think I'm going to twist it or bite it. Uh, but um... And that is it. That is my story. And then I moved up here. And we couldn't figure out why I kept gaining so much freaking weight. What is wrong? And like my husband said, he didn't want to tell me. Because he didn't want me mad. And I'm like, you should have told me. Because then I could have correct myself. So, um, yeah. Now, I'm like, I kept, I kept getting pregnant. I started correcting myself. When I found out I was 200 pounds. Then I got pregnant. And, um. I was like, I, before I got pregnant, I was like 2.30. And I was losing it, and I got like 2.16. Then I found out I was pregnant, so I had to stop. Then with my third child, I was losing weight when I, before I got pregnant. I was 2.18. And it was easy. It was quick. Like, bam, bam. Weight was coming out. Weight was coming out. Then, get sick two weeks later. 
Uh, my baby, like four months old, and get sick two weeks later and find out <laughs> you're pregnant. You're like six weeks or almost eight weeks. I said, What? <sighs> so then I had to post on it. But now, um, still on my weight loss journey. Um, I am gonna lose this weight. I'm determined if I have to juice for five days to seven days or three days out of a week, I'm going to do it just to. You know, get myself started because at first I started off real good eating real healthy foods and stuff. And then I got backtracked because of stress and stuff. And I bet I'll be pregnant now. That's one thing. I can't keep getting pregnant. That's just, okay, I'm married. I'm blessed. We have money, a little bit of money. Okay, who does that though? You don't keep getting pregnant. I already didn't have one back to back already. Okay, I'm not trying to do that again. But, uh, yeah, anyway, um, that was just my little story. And my juicing experience today is going okay so far, but I'm like so tempted to like eat. But I'm gonna see how I do in the next hour. If I feel a little wheezy or sick, or anything, I mean, not wheezy, a little um, a lightheaded or something. I'm starting to feel a little different. But if I feel a little lightheaded, I'm gonna go ahead and eat a little something, but healthy. Alright, talk to you guys later. Have a blessed day. Bye. Comment and subscribe.